discoverability is notoriously hard on iOS and Android. I mean, our business exists because discoverability is so hard. And we, are, we have a whole business off, on buying ads to drive game installs and ultimately conversions. To what extent does a web store help with discoverability? Is there any built-in discoverability mechanisms that you have? Or, you know, can you talk a little bit about if this is a lever for games growth outside of deeper uh, engagement and uh, monetization with your existing player base? Okay, so I think that playbook is still being written and like our partners, like, and, and like, we, we talk to them all the time and we discover together like new ways to uh, like increase the pie, have more discoverability, find new players. Because when you have a web store, you're finally able to use tools that weren't available to you before when you only have a mean app store. For example, right. when you have a web store, you're in the realm of e-commerce now. So you can take off from the, the very like well-trodden path of state travel or uh, insurance or uh, whatever. Like a lot of the industry that have like cracked e-commerce so you can look at like uh, unique Facebook ads or uh, a lot of like new advertising opportunities with very specific deep links to a specific offer or cow sale of offers. You can look at uh, SMS marketing and, and there's, a, there's a lot of ways that you can leverage to find your players in new channels and new um, mediums and educate them about the fact that you have a web store. So if you're able to target them, if you're able to target players that uh, like your game, maybe they follow your social, then you can educate them about the fact that there is a store now and you can meet them in different places than you were able to before and you were only bound to promote your app on the on the app store. And we see that happening more with players. As I said before, the playbook is still being written, so we're discovering new ways as we go. But I think that like eventually that's going to be a significant element on the potential growth that you can achieve using a web store because all of a sudden you can invite players in from all these new channels that you weren't able to do this before. I will say, however, that unlike um, the, the one of the values that you get from app stores, which is distribution and new growth, when you have a web store, it's on you, right? Uh, the good side is that you don't pay 30% tax, but uh, and, but then like the other side of that coin is that you need to bring in the traffic. You need to find your players. You need to be able to target them. As we, as we said before, you need to be able to have direct communication with them. But you you are now responsible for growing your player base and growing your uh, traffic to your web store. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. And I personally, at least, like to complain about Apple and Google and how presumptive a 30% fee is. That being said, you know, a ton of people have figured out how to game the organic systems that Apple and Google provide and are able to generate a lot of relatively low cost incremental users. Um, that would be much, much harder to do in the case of driving uh, net new traffic um, themselves to the, to the store. 